Welcome back everybody to the Binding of Isaac BD1P randomizer. Today we have our first Azazel run. We unlocked Azazel, I think, through um using a two of diamonds card for whatever reason. So hey, I'm not gonna complain. We have the strongest character arguably in the game unlocked right now, and I think it's time we actually get some money in this goddamn greed machine. Seed, by the way, is going to be RN99WVW0. I'm happy that the last run proved to me that the randomizer does save your settings when you toggle off mods. I had to uh, turn off mods for the, the speedrun stream, and I was kind of scared I would go back to this file and it would all be gone or like all messed up or all buggy, but it seemed to save, which is, is, is music to my ears. Oh my god, great shot for our, our first uh, couple of bombs here. I will probably end up bombing this machine. Um, I don't really care for spider mod. I don't care for well, I guess I should wait so I can get that, that three cent key before I do, you know, anything too drastic here. Oh my god, and look at that, free money from those pots. But, uh, what I wanted to talk about today, uh, is that I watched, I know, I know you're gonna hear, oh, you watched another movie, that's right, a BD1P has been watching a lot of movies right now. And, uh, I actually have watched two recently. I'm gonna talk about, um, the most recent one I saw last night with, uh, my, my girlfriend and a couple of her friends, and that is the movie Insidious. I had not seen Insidious before. Um, I'm not super, super big into, like, the... I don't know what you'd call that. It's not classic horror. It's, like, creature horror. Like, you know, stuff like The Conjuring, where it's like, uh, you know, oh, evil spirit coming to take your body. Gotta, gotta run, gotta go fast, but... I'm not super big into that genre. I've seen The Conjuring... I enjoyed The Conjuring 1 and 2. The Conjuring 3 was absolute dog shit. Uh, they're not known for being, you know, amazing movies. We all know this. They're they're not, like, bare minimum either. I don't know how to call The Conjuring movies. They're, like, they're the fast food of horror movies. You're always going to get some kind of enjoyment. Um, hello, beautiful. Some kind of enjoyment out of them. All right, new <laughs> new character, everybody. Actually, range is 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 pretty good. As I haven't played an Azazel run in you know God knows how long, but range is is pretty good for us. We have the keeper unlocked. We are just getting you know characters by the freaking dozen right now, man. What is this? We're getting really. I don't think I've seen a luckier randomizer than this one. That that again, again, like I don't think any other uh, Isaac tuber has done a randomizer yet. So I'm kind of setting a very there we go again. Unreasonable baseline, but but still, that's kind of kind of insane. What's our next seven cent through here? Okay, why don't we bomb you for money? Maybe another cheap item. There goes chaos. It's fine. I don't really care for chaos either way. And we can just go fight for the devil deal. Um, let, let's go angel. We have godhead unlocked. It's not really good as his character, but uh, it is homing, I guess, and a damage up. So we can skip and we'll try to just go straight. I'll go back and buy a key. We can go straight for um for Godhead because we got that in the last greed run we played. That was totally worth it, I would say. Uh, what about you? All right, we'll try once per floor. If we don't get it, we just cut our losses and we move on. I'm not gonna to to waste too much time on that. We get another syringe part spun and also a great speed and of course, as I was just saying, a great range up. This is going to be worth it in the long run, uh, so I will definitely be taking that, and we can bomb these for uh, a net gain in bombs. I could have just, never mind, I wasted a bomb there. Nobody saw that, you know, don't worry about it. We have five cents to go in here. Uh, Linger Bean. I do not care. We're going we're gonna to do this right now. We're going to wait, because we have Flush, and Flush turns every enemy into poop, which can drop us money, petrified poop, and other other great goodies. So we're going to sit here, we're going to talk about Insidious. Things I liked about it. I thought the uh, visual effects were that perfect balance of, like, it's not super cheap, but it still has a bit of charm to it, like how a lot of older horror movies like Elm Street had the fog machines and things like that. I liked that. We'll do it now. I like that it kept that kind of classic, you know, small charm, but also, uh, you know, incorporated that new age technology into it as well. Our range is insane right now. Um, I think that can be, you know, most notably seen in the uh, the scene where 
the the dad goes into the the further and uh, tries to get his son on like the the evil guy is in his workshop with the long claws doing his job that that was a very like epic scene I liked how that looked I thought it was really really cool um we can go for seven cent HP here sure squeeze is great for tier rate uh I'll take more tier rate sure you always want to buy the seven cent items when you can you can save more money for the greed machine later remember you need to save money I forgot that last run you have to save money don't be an idiot can I flush these no I, I didn't think so you guys got shot around the room pretty fast though uh I like the visual effects a lot. It is kind of hard to see some stuff occasionally. I think the movie could have benefited from not being so dull uh, in terms of, like, color. But I think for that movie in particular, it worked well to illustrate, you know, uh, just how much was going wrong in their lives. And when the splash of color finally did hit when Elise showed up, I thought it was kind of a nice little nod to... Um, how she's gonna like help the family and they're just gonna bring some color back into their lives. I thought it was pretty neat. I thought it was a good good execution of that little technique there. Um, the story is it's it's hit or miss. It's it's a horror story. You're not gonna be getting like, you know, the Shakespearean novels out of that. It's just, you know, creature here, creature want body. That's pretty much the entirety of it. Like there's it's very simple. But I think it works fine. And I liked how the, the the antagonist looked. I liked how the uh, the Darth Maul looking guy. I liked his appearance a lot. Now, I am a pretty big fan of uh, Darth Maul from Star Wars, and I think that it was a little bit jarring to see what was almost an exact replica of him as like an evil demon. But still, I I still really enjoyed it. We're gonna go for some rerolls here with the money because I plan to get more money on this floor. Uh, I don't really care for any of that. Do I care for dream? I, no, it's not going to be worth it. I'd rather spend the one cent to get a useless item than 15 cents to see my item rooms ahead of time. No, thank you. Okay, we're just going to not buy anything this floor. It's going to be a, a you rush to your angel deal kind of floor and move on. But again, I thought it was a fun movie. Uh, I think it definitely beats out The Conjuring. I really don't think I have many plans to see Insidious 2. I don't think it was... It didn't stick with me enough to want to go watch the entire series. Uh, I can spend more time watching better movies that I know I'll enjoy more. But I think I'm glad I saw it. Because it, it's one of those classic staples of the, the... The spirit horror genre. Whatever you want to call that genre of stuff. I thought it was cool. It was very interesting how the dad is played by the same guy who plays Ed in the Conjuring movies, and the character's mom is Lorraine, which is the name of Ed's wife in the Conjuring movies. That was, I don't know if that was, like, intentional or if that was, like, uh, just a, a writing, you know, coincidence, but that was kind of cool. I like that a lot, too. Uh, I, I don't hate the Conjuring. I think the Conjurings are fun movies. Uh, the third one is, is laughably bad, but... I, I like Conjuring 1 and 2. I, I had a good time watching those. Uh, I didn't see any of them in theaters, which might have lowered my enjoyment a bit just because uh, seeing a movie in theaters, I think, is always better than watching it at your house. There's some debate to be had about that. There's definitely some cases where, you know, maybe watching a movie at home um, is... I can't bomb you yet, can I? No, I didn't think so. Maybe watching a movie at home uh, is better because you can pause it when you want. And if it's not like a super uh, tense movie or like it doesn't have a lot of like big epic story marks, I think it's fine to watch it at home and have the same enjoyment. Like I watched my favorite movie ever, the A Marriage Story. I there's no need to see that movie in theaters. I mean, come on. Like you're you're not watching it for the visual prowess. You're not watching it for the big epic story beats you know it's 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 a tame movie and that story is portrayed fine uh, by just watching it in the comfort of your own home here's what i'm gonna do i want to get a lot of money in that machine so what i'm gonna do here is i am probably not gonna buy stuff until i can keep 99 cents in my character we could easily beat ultra greed with what we have right now we have nearly 10 damage we have you know good tier rate i think we're fine if we just go for item room items from here on out that that oh bobby that's fine to me but i think with movies like uh 
like Insidious or The Conjuring or The Menu even, like another one of the recent horror movies that I saw, you're not going to have the same enjoyment watching it at home. Because there's these, these cool visual effects and there's these you know, thriller moments, it's fun to watch it with the crowd and it's fun to get invested in that regard. I don't think, like, uh, let's take this one for example. Uh, another one of my favorite movies, uh, Lost in Translation. It's uh, I think it's Bill Murray and it's it's Scarlett Johansson. It's a it's a somber love story, right? I don't need to watch that in theaters. Like I'm fine watching it. I'm not missing out on much because I'm again, I'm not watching it for the visual prowess. I'm not watching it for anything that I can't get at home. Um, and those ones where it's quieter and you're alone watching them, it might even dare I say add to the uh, the appeal. Because you're not getting interrupted by the guy next to you digging into his gummy worms bag or his big popcorn bag. You know, you're you're getting that 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 environment that you want to watch a movie in, or that that comforting at home environment. So, I think there's a case to be made for different things watching at theaters or in home. But I think generally, if I can go see a movie in theaters that I really want to see, I'm going to go see it in theaters. I'm I'm not. It lives in the greed fight. Hello, you should not be here yet, but whatever. Uh, I would much rather watch it in theaters. Even those somber ones, I would still rather see it in theaters, but I'm not missing out on much by not. And uh, Insidious is one of those where I really wish I could have seen it in theaters with like a crowd, because the jump scares hit heavier. You don't really get jump scared watching a movie at home. Like, as you, like, you're in the comfort of your own home. I think just being in that environment of like, you're familiar with your house, we can, we can go in here. We have HP to spare. And it was complete dog, so we skip. Um, I think being in the comfort of your own home with somebody you know, like your girlfriend or, you know, friends, like it's hard to get jump scared like that. Whereas a theater, like where you're watching a movie for the first time, that it, it's a pretty, I would say, a priceless experience to see that kind of stuff happen live. What do we have in here? Huh. Alabaster Box is a pretty big money in You gotta buy the Soul Heart. It, it's an investment for sure. I don't think I care enough to buy that and keep it and try to find, you know, four... I think it's actually six Soul Hearts to charge it up. I, I mean, we could have maybe gotten it with, like, the fires here... Oh, I guess not. I guess I'm just stupid. Maybe these fires. We had one on the ground and then... Yeah, no, it's not going to be worth it. At that point, you'd have to buy each individual soul heart, which would be 30 cents, which is not what I want to be spending, plus the 15 for the box is, is uh, 45 cents for a potential uh, two... Ouch. Two angel items and a couple of hearts on the ground as well. It's just... It's, it's not worth it. You know, I, I'd rather keep what I have now and and give even more money to the greed machine by the end of the run. But I guess ending off, like, or tying off our little movie discussion, I thought Insidious was pretty good. I, th I don't think it's a must-see, but I think it's, it's a classic horror movie that I think, uh, you know, has legitimately some very clever jump scares where they lead you on for the first, like, hour of the movie with, like, oh, might be a thing coming over here and all these they're, they're seeing stuff and then nothing happens then there's one jump scare there's like a single jump scare about an hour into the movie where the character puts his head in his hands and the creature is like directly behind him and then it's gone and it, it's the most like it's the best kind of jump scare where you're not getting like loud noise ah or like uh big flashing lights it's just it's a simple this guy's here, you better be fucking scared, then he's gone. I really enjoyed that one. I think that's, like, the quintessential... Why am I getting hit by so much stuff right now? The quintessential perfect jump scare. I thought it was really, really good. Uh, I would like to see more movies that had that same thing, although I've heard that the Insidious movies um, only get worse as the number goes up. Like, two is bad, three is even worse than two, you know, etc., etc. I've heard that they are not... I'm so bad at this game. They're not the greatest. If I'm wrong, let me know, and I would love to go watch them. But, um... Oh my god, there's three of you. I didn't even know that. I, I learned this just now for the first time. I never knew this. What? I never knew this. Oh, okay. 
lot going on right now. I'm not too concerned, though. Our HP and our money are, are high enough where we could just spend money on HP next floor and then win the run and give a lot of money to... Okay, great. There's a spider that I, I just did not react to. What is wrong with me? Oh, there it is. Okay, godhead. Um, yep, damage up. We have homing on our brimstone beam now, as, as short as it may be. And, uh, yeah, okay, we, we leave. We move on down to the next floor. This was... was Okay, well, there's a homing card. Um, and there's a flight card. Well, both of those things are now useless to us, but that uh, is besides the point. Besides the freaking point. Okay, do you want to buy anything here? I honestly still think... Uh, it's actually really good for us. I will buy this. It's big damage for us. And I do want to roll until we find soul hearts. Just in case. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's buy like one. Is that a trap door? Oh. We could just skip this floor. Yeah, I, I think we, we can play this one out for sure. If we can maybe get a card that could give us damage... Okay, Wheel of Fortune. Um, not the card that I had planned to see here. But it gave us a bomb back, so who am I to complain? I can bomb this as well. Okay. I think pretty much everything that we have right now, we could go fight Greed. But I do want to play this floor out just so that um, I can get number one or charge my item right there and get more money. There's a good chance we won't be able to give all this money to our machine, but if there's a slim, you know, a non-zero chance we can, 65 you are an asshole. 65 cents is a great bar to be at. We're going to do this, I think. Um, I got some flies to fight off. No big deal. Watch the shadows. There we go. That was a... Okay, well... Now I understand why everybody hates this mode. <laughs> Getting enemies spawned on me twice in a row is not very cool. And my nose is extremely itchy right now. Um, yeah, we're going to need to get HP for next floor, I think. I don't want to spend too much on HP, but I also don't want to, like, lose all the money that I have by dying and not being able to give it to the actual machine. So I think living is more important uh, and ensuring that living is... Oh, I can't hit the, the copies anymore? What happened, dude? Oh, this thing. I, you have a new pattern, that's right. Locust of Famine, that's uh, quite fitting. We'll fight this. We'll do this immediately. Because <laughs> we're going to lose a charge, but like I don't want to fight those guys. Uh, that That's fine. I don't want to fight the angels. Could give us more money inside of those poops anyways, so maybe it was the right play. Devil deal for our final one. We get... Little Horn's not bad. Actually. Great. Um, this solves the HP issue. And we can literally just move on down now. Uh, I could have just gotten the battery, I guess. The, I could have made better plays to get extra stats there. I apologize. I could have taken the flush, gone and got the battery on top of the other trap door, and then been fine. Or even bombed that battery off to keep it. So, misplays were made, but they weren't you know, extreme. We're still going to have 88 cents, hopefully, um, barring any dumb hits. Oh my god. Uh, we have 99 cents now. If we flawless this greed fight... Oh! Then we get uh, a 99 cent donation. Okay, broke them all. Nice. Watch the pennies. Good. So far, we're doing pretty all right. Oh, you are not stopping. I thought you'd be stopping. Good homing right there. Godhead coming in clutch. This is the worst attack in the history of attacks ever. Spin. Walk. Uh, 
keys. Flawless. Flawless Ultra Greed. I mean, we did have Godhead Azazel, but still. Shade in the basement's great. Um, kind of. Plum Flute. All right. Cool. Twins. We don't even have Can Unlocked yet. Wow, we got nearly every single cent. We got every single cent in there. We are at 99 cents. I think if we had one bomb, we could get one singular more, but still, that's a... Uh, that's pretty damn good. What do we get for this? Nothing. That's fine. Either way, if you enjoyed the episode, that was a great one for us. Uh, I've been BD1P. Like and subscribe. Peace out, and goodbye.